Hey everyone, welcome to Song Trader Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your music for monetization. Okay, once you're on your dashboard, click the monetization tab over in the left navigation menu. On that page, you'll see different opportunities available like network TV, TikTok, or overhead radio. Let's go ahead and opt into YouTube as an example. In the first pop-up window, you'll see a description of what that opportunity entails. Once you've read it, go ahead and click close. The next pop-up is the terms and conditions for this contract. This is very important. Carefully read through the terms for each opportunity as they differ from the other services that we provide. After you've scrolled down and have agreed to the terms, rights, territory, usage, and media details, the accept button will light up in green. Go ahead and click that so we can begin opting in your music. Now, you can individually opt in songs by clicking each checkbox or you can opt in all songs using the opt in all songs link. If you're looking for a specific song, try using the search function to help locate it. It's important to note that if your song says pending approval, this means your co-owners need to log in and accept the terms to activate for this opportunity. A common question we receive is, my co-owners have already approved and activated the song. Why do they have to do this again? Your co-owners may have activated for sync licensing, but have not yet agreed to our monetization terms. If you're wondering which co-owners are needed to activate, the View Approvals link will indicate which songs are yet to be approved. Once your music has been selected, the My Activity window on the right will keep track of any analytics from the monetization of your music. You can also revisit the description of the opportunity and terms and conditions in the links above at any time. Lastly, if you have other issues with this process, it's likely due to the ownership settings or song activation within your account. This is where we receive the most questions, so I suggest verifying your ownerships first. Then, go to My Songs to open your catalog of music and begin editing those inactive songs. Subscribe for more tutorials or information about SongTrader, and also, make sure to like this video if you found it helpful. Till next time!